are we living in line of duty lands now? I think we're pretty early on in the story. If, if this was a six episode arc, we're probably in episode two. Ooh, um, three. Three. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I just think it's, I mean, we're really, I, I think the, the, the pandemic has, has shown the level of incompetence. If the level of corruption that, that has, has now been laid bare through all the, the various PPE scandals and test and trace and so on. It feels kind of like there's still further for this to go. There's certainly further for the pandemic to go. Mm-hmm. And there's certainly further for the incompetence of this government to go. I mean, they're busy now kind of stirring the big pot of third wave versus the virus to create a, the perfect environment to incubate a vaccine resistant Epsilon variant. So it's really too early to say. You know, if some, something could change if, if the person at the top changes because he is exceptional. You know, the pre- previous conservative leaders did not have the quality, the negative qualities that this individual has, not, not even close. And so if he were to change, there is, there is hope that there could be a reset but I think it is his character. And I think as, as, long, as long as he is in office, that we will have this problem. And I just hope that the scales fall from people's eyes and the electorate do the right thing. But the fact is that at the moment, it seems that we're, we're on a journey towards that kind of behavior in public office being acceptable or tolerated. And, and therefore it, the democratic process may not save us.